Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today's project we are upgrading this ViewSonic IFP 7550-2 interactive touch display. This is what we are using in our classrooms at the school and we are upgrading to the Dash 3 model in a lot of different classrooms this coming summer. I want to make sure the interface is the same for everyone. This upgrade it can be a little bit confusing and what I've found is you need to make sure that you use a USB flash drive. It's got to go in this slot in the side of the TV and it has to be an 8 gig or smaller formatted at FAT32 um, and you're limited to that. You can't have anything bigger than an 8 gig. It's got to be an 8 gig FAT32. Once you have that in there you can push the input 991 and that will bring up the menu for doing the upgrade, the debug menu. And I was having all sorts of trouble getting that pointed at the exact right spot on the TV. But once you get it pointed there, get the 911 in, you'll get this menu. And you can go down to upgrade with the remote and it's got to be pointed at the exact right spot on the TV. So upgrade, select upgrade to all. I'm trying to get that lined up so I can show up both the remote and the menus on the screen. And then when you hit confirm, you'll see the upgrades main is done, the touch is always ignored, and the MCU will be done. And then it'll reboot and do the upgrade process as it reboots. The upgrade process does take a little while, so I'm not going to go through and show you that entire thing. As I mentioned, this process takes a little bit, so we'll just skip over this. Once it finishes rebooting, then you come up to this menu, and it's just a matter of going through the basic setup. Choosing your language, setting your network settings. Uh, this is all self-explanatory, just following through the menus. And once I get all this set, it will load up to the regular 7550-3 screen and look just the same. And I'm able to add it into my ViewSonic management system and be able to manage these TVs from anywhere. Tested that out and it did work, so that works pretty nice. And just to reiterate here, setting up the flash drive is pretty easy. You have to have an 8 gig or smaller. Uh, right click on it, the flash drive itself, and format it as 32, FAT32. The instructions are on the ViewSonic website if you need help with it. It's pretty simple. And while this TV is updating, I've got another flash drive here that I can plug in and walk you through the process. Here's one only uh, 4 gig, I think, in size. Plug it in, bring it up into File Explorer, right-click on it, Format, and make sure it says FAT32. And then you can start. After it's formatted, you can take your files from the download the upgrade 551 for the dash 2 version and then just drag and drop them right into the root of that flash drive and then plug that in the side in that slot and once you get booted up go through that same process I mentioned earlier and I'll go through this update process until it's done and then reboot and you're ready to go